Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Welcome to my Icarus mod tutorial video. Today I will provide a rundown on how to use one of my mods called Lawn P Circle Guides, which basically helps with constructing circular buildings within the game. You may have seen some of my other videos showing how to do these circular builds from scratch, but one of the toughest parts of this method is getting yourself lined up properly for placement of offset vertical beams so the outside walls meet in a reasonably smooth fashion. This mod provides a new freely craftable build item at the character level called Pete's Circle Build Guides, and the icon looks like this. They come in packs of 10, so let's craft one of them and head over to my test build site to show you how to use them. I highly recommend uh, initially setting up a 5x5 floor base like I have here, raised slightly above a reasonably flat ground area. When you initially deploy the guides, you will see a preview of the six-sided guide template, which uh, you can move around for placement. Um, if you hold the R key while you're in deploy mode, uh, you will get a pop-up radio menu, which allows you to choose different circle sizes. You can choose uh, six-sided, eight, 12, 16, 24, 36, and a whopping 48-sided circle build option. You obviously need a bit more real estate for the larger circle builds, probably a 6x6 floor template with flat, close ground underneath for vertical beam placements at the guide positions. We'll place the 8-sided guide for this demonstration, but I want to draw your attention to the Deploy Variations menu when you hold the R key and hover over the descriptors. You see that for an 8-sided circle, the walls will be located at the guide positions whereas a 36-sided circle, the walls will be positioned at four beams out from the guide location. This is important information to keep handy when you build your beams and determine your wall positions. The entire guide is a single build piece. Therefore, you can point your dot cursor at any guide and hit the Y key to destruct it, and it'll go back into your inventory. So let's have a look at the guides themselves. Uh, they consist of a bunch of what looks like sunken vertical beams with small half walls on either side. The half walls are designed for you to be just wide enough for you to squeeze between them and walk up to the small vertical beam. If you look at the top of the vertical beam, you will see a guide cross marker, which we will use um, to free place our vertical beams. Let's prepare to place a vertical concrete beam. Hit the home key for free placement mode then adjust your beam height by hitting page up and page down keys. The height is not important as long as the vertical beam you place has ground contact below it and you don't change any of the height during the placement of your remaining beams. I like to adjust the beam so the beam preview just shows through the cross marker. You might have to fiddle with this to just to get it right, but again, not critical. What is important, though, is to consistently place your dot cursor at exactly the center of the cross marker before placing your beam. Make sure you do this for each beam you place at each guide. I'm going to place all my beams and meet you back here after. Okay, I've placed all my vertical beams, uh, one at each guide location. Now I can delete my guide template. Easiest way to do this is just point at any of the half walls on the guides and hit the Y key to delete the entire guide. Now you can see all of our vertical beams that we placed. With this circle guides, all the uh, build floors and walls will build to the right side of our vertical beam placements. This is important to note as these are the support locations for our build structure. As mentioned earlier, we know that the wall placement um, will be at the guide locations for eight-sided buildings, so let's uh, start building out our structure. It might be easiest to, uh, to just go from the outside of the, uh, the support beam and um, uh, initiate the wall construction to the left of each beam. And as you can see here, they mesh up pretty nicely. And we're just going to go around and drop a wall out on each one. This one I'll make a door and um, close up the final wall and have a look at it. So you get a really nice finish from the outside of the uh, the building uh, with these guides. So we're going to look at the um, the other two buildable items in this mod that um, you also may have noticed in there. Uh, if you go to your um, 
crafting menu for your character, you'll notice there's our circular peat circle build guides that we just took a look at. There's also a peat's wall offset angle guide and a and a peat's direct angle guide. And we're going to look at how these you would apply these. So um, let's uh, build both of these. Craft that one, and we're also going to craft that one. And we're going to put them into our uh, into our quick bar down below here, and um, and take a look at how that works. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to just uh, build a sort of semi-sunken beam here. We'll just go into the home position and we'll uh, raise that up a little bit just to about that level there. And I'm going to place it right kind of here to show you how this works. So once you've placed one and if we use the, um, if we deploy the Pete's wall offset angle guides, these ones were designed so that you could at any point anywhere in your in your game come off of an angle off of a vertical beam in such a way that they out that the walls that are attached to those are going to be all meshing up rather nicely right so in this case we're gonna we're gonna pick that um, offset it's six on my hotbar um, and we're gonna hit the home key and that shows you different angles that you can you can choose um, and let's uh, let's take a look at that right now. So we're going to go for the 12-sided, uh, 30-degree angle offset. So we'll do that, and you'll see it builds something similar to what we had with our uh, with our building guide. Uh, but it, what it does is it, it creates a one beam length out, and well, not quite actually. It's actually a little bit of a different length, but it does that on purpose so it so the outside walls are snugly connected uh, but then it has this guide just like the other one um, and we can go in and we can actually put in an, a vertical beam here so let's just go seven and i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna put this sink this down with page down a little bit so it's as close as possible see how that lights up the cross like that so there's a beam there then we'll delete this thing and we'll build another, uh, you know, another guide out, right? So we go uh, six again, like that, and then we're gonna go seven again, home, build another beam right out here, just put it right in the middle of that cross, and etc. Keep doing the same thing again, right? Each time, build another one off of here. Select our vertical, home key, go in here, drop that in there. And so what that does is it, it gives you sort of a, without using the guides, gives you a highly accurate and precise angle for a wall section, if you will, right? Because I thought it would be kind of neat to have uh, the ability to do that. You know, maybe you're not building a complete circle um, you know, building, but you want parts of your walls to be, um, you know, angled out. So in this case now, what we can just do is just build our walls off of here. Um, and we'll just go like that, like that, like that, like that, and have a look at that from the outside. And you can see you got a nice smooth edge all the way around. So that's sort of a manual way of building that circular section right without building the entire um, you know um, circle so if, if we just delete these for a second and say okay well, what's the difference with that other one that's here well the difference with um, this uh, other guy here the direct angle guide the direct angle guide is going to just give you a straight out angle from a particular beam so if you have this beam situated here let's turn my torch on for a second it actually puts a, an angle at a certain angle straight out from that beam. So if I want 22 degrees exactly from this from this beam, I can put my guide right there and then place my vertical beam inside here. And this guy is gonna be, now, this beam is gonna be positioned exactly at that angle from that we wanted from this beam here, right? So. Um, the difference being that the the direct angles don't do the offset method; they just go straight out from 
from a particular beam at a certain angle. And, uh, and you'll notice that when you place walls there, um, they won't be snugged up tight, so you get that nice, you know, really tight uh, um, rotation there. Because, for example, if I have this guy sitting here, oops, let's just turn him around for a second. Like that, and then I put this beam here, and you go to the outside, you'll see there's more of a gap here now, right? But this is a perfect angle off of a beam, so when you do that, you're going to get naturally a gap that 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 situates itself there, right? So. Um, so, yeah, it's just different ways of, of um, introducing angles uh, for your builds. Play with them. Um, see how they work for you and your builds. Uh, it just offers a bit more control, more precise control on um, angling and positioning off of the grid system uh, that Icarus normally lets you build on. So I hope you found this uh, mod uh, useful. Um, throw some comments in, let me know, and... Um, Keep on building, folks. Thanks for now.